What is meditation? Meditation is a form of mind training to develop the capacity of the mind to train the brain, consciousness so that we can explore greater potential. The practice of yoga postures or asanas is to train the body so that we can explore greater potential physically. Pranayama or breathing is to expand the life force inside the body so that we can use it for our daily activities as well as to explore greater potential of the mind through meditation. Asanas prepare the body for breathing practices and breathing practices prepare ourselves for the meditation practices. The higher practices are called nirguna without qualities. Basic practices is to be aware of the surroundings and to acknowledge the surroundings and from there move into different practices. For example, here as usual we have this opportunity to have these nice sounds coming. They're pounding the blachan for their dinner. But we take it as an opportunity to train ourselves. Now in your office if you have any sound or any noise or if the temperature is high or too low then you feel a bit disturbed and irritated. It's not good for your health, it's not good for your mind. You're not able to maintain composure, poise. We need to train ourselves to be steady and centered no matter what happens around us. And in Patanjali Yoga Sutras it says that if it is too much then you just ignore and that would be the best treatment so like now we just ignore and focus on our breath and today the meditation is the meditation on quality what qualities do we have have you studied your own quality quality of your character now many people enter into some form of self-development or self-improvement trying to change themselves and find enlightenment immediately. So they bring in all the qualities and end up confused. So it is good, that's what this great yogi by the name of Vivekananda mentioned. He said just take one quality and work towards achieving the highest level training in that quality. If we can focus on one quality and attain the highest level of perfection in that one quality, the satisfaction would be infinite. Then we can bring another quality to work upon. This is a much more easier method to develop oneself. What qualities do we need? As a student, what qualities do you need? Have you explored this? As an employee in your organization, what qualities do you need to maintain harmony and to evolve in your work? As a student, if you are a student, then what qualities do you need? to become the best as a student, as a teacher, the qualities of a teacher, the qualities of a housewife, the qualities of a husband, the quality of a son, a daughter, the qualities of an employer, administrator. Many qualities need to be understood. We have these categories and we develop one quality in that category. Many people don't know this. Are you surprised? They are so confused. And then they claim they are depressed. And then when they are depressed, they make others depressed. Wisdom is lacking. Intellect could be wonderful. Many people have wonderful intellect. Intelligence is amazing, but wisdom may be lacking. These are basic things and it requires not sixth sense, but common sense. 
very simple method of understanding using common sense thinking with common sense experimenting that quality and then seeing what results come from there so this is our meditation I want you to think about one quality which you think will help your life right now that could create greater harmony in your life greater harmony with others and ensure a good future and well-being for you and the people who are with you right now determine only one quality and see whether you can determine it right now I give you one minute Now humans are known as greedy beings psychological profiling data collecting shows that the human mind seems to be quite greedy this is the reason why we find it quite difficult to determine one quality so we have to drop this greed greed breeds corruption as you can see and you can see from society and many many things that happen around us that quality of life drops the world becomes much more difficult place to live in because of this greed which breeds corruption so we need to train ourselves not to be greedy even this one quality we will find it quite difficult to develop you may have experienced that you cannot determine which quality there's so many qualities that come in we need to calm down and just focus on one quality this is an examination that's all an examination of the self of the mind of how the personality behaves so that this could be one method of achieving some form of steadiness in our lives and greater harmony so I hope that you would determine the quality which you need most in your life and achieve that quality before embarking on the next quality and then after that the next quality with this we wish all good health peace and harmony and rub the palms together over the face and then to the back of the neck to the chest to the lower back to the knee one more time energizing all these components and parts